Alright. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. It is me, Sean, I'm here bringing you some F. Uh, I mean, I went to F. Uh, 5M tutorials, and uh, we're gonna show you exactly what the what you need to do from the from the perspective of the civilian and the police officer when getting pulled over from these points of views. So what you've seen is the civilian ran a red light and was speeding. So the officer took action and went to pull him over. And what you want to do here when you do pull somebody over, the whole point of this 5M strategy is to run the uh, RP out as long as possible. So you can do, you don't want to just get pulled over and then immediately run every single time. It gets, it's, it gets old, um, you know, and people want to make content out of this. If you're running every time, they're not going to pull you over and, and do this kind of stuff. So what you want to do is run the RP out as long as possible. So what the officer's going to do right now, he's going to step out of the vehicle, walk up, and he's going to ask him to roll his window down. Sir, can you roll the window down, please? You want to retake this? Yes, yes sir. Are you rolling? No, you're good. Yeah, we're still rolling. So, when he asks him to roll the window down, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your F1 menu. And I'll go ahead and show you how to do this. F1 menu, go to vehicle related options. You're going to vehicle options. I know this is kind of a hassle to get to, but it's just the only way we have to, can do it at the moment. Go down to vehicle windows and hit. I'm not in a vehicle, but you go to vehicle windows, roll down front windows. Windows roll down. The pedestrian is going to say, you know, whatever the pedestrian says. Um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and let the scenario run out, and then you can kind of see what happens. Do you know why I pulled you over? Uh, uh red, red light is speeding. Oh, well, you're like the easiest dude I've pulled over yet. <laughs> uh, you see your uh, license and registration? So now what he's going to do is the officer asked him to hand him his license of registration. And in any normal server, you're going to do a forward slash me and chat. And that's basically you just pull your chat up, hit forward slash, and do me. And that allows you to do an action, which it says on the screen here. And then all you'll do is write hands. And you can abbreviate this how you want to. Hands, L, and uh, R for license and registration. And then that's what's going to pop up on your screen. So I'll let this guy continue to do that so you can kind of see it play out. Alright, I'm going to take your license and registration back to you. I'm going to run your info. You got any warrants or anything on you? Anything that's going to come back? Know. Not no. that I know of. Alright, just give me one second to run this information. I'll be right back. And now what the officer is going to do, he's going to go to his vehicle. And he is going to run the information. But what he'll do is he'll type in chat. Um, forward slash OOC, which is out of character. And in space, what he'll do is he'll put runs info, what did I find, but it'll be abbreviated. As you'll see on chat here, it'll pop up in chat. And then what happens is when you see skybox, that's what you usually call it. Uh, when you see skybox and you see runs info, what did, uh, what did he find? Uh, it is up to you whether you want to run this RP out or not. So this is the turning point of where the civilian has control. So you either say, I have warrants out for my arrest. I have prior speeding tickets. You can do anything you want, but the, the RP is literally in your control. So if you're wanting to run, and we're not saying run all the time, because like I said, you run these RPs out, RPs out as long as possible, and they don't mind you running as long as you know you're running as, like, as of real life. You know, you would run in real life. So the civilian will put in chat he'll do forward slash me space say like I have a warrant so I'll let him proceed with that and then we'll I'll show you how it plays out alright so it comes back and he says that he has a warrant and what will happen is officer Rick will get out of the vehicle and proceed to walk up to him and pretty casual you know, 
and they'll be like, hey man, sorry to let you know, but you've got a warrant out for your arrest. Could you please step out of the vehicle? And then again, it's a turning point for the civilian. So the RP is in his hands. So he could get out of the vehicle and comply, and he has a chance for the officer to let him go. You know, just or you know along those lines so whatever the officer does but if he wants to run he'll proceed to run the officer will run back to his vehicle and then proceed to chase him all right uh that came back you did have a warrant what's this warrant here for Can you tell me a little bit about that drugs 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 what well, would you selling drugs would you buying drugs i mean what, what, what's, what's selling, selling. Selling drugs. All right, uh, if you would step out of the vehicle here for me. And uh, walk back here to the front of my car. All right, so uh, the, I'm sorry. Um, well, you can go ahead. I was just gonna search him. Okay, so at this point, he asked him to run, walk to the front of the vehicle. He gets to the front of the vehicle. What the officer is going to do is going to detain him first. And then he's going to pr proceed to search the the civilian. And then what happens on the search is he'll type in chat, you know, searches me or forward slash me space searches body. What did I find? And then again, this is in the civilian's hands. The civilian will then proceed to say forward slash me, you know, finds wallet, keys, weed, you know, whatever they have on their persons that they want to be either charged for or not charged for. Or if they're clean, there's nothing on them. They'll say they ain't got nothing on them. And then they'll proceed to go and search the vehicle. So we'll watch this, you know, we'll watch this play out. All right, go ahead. That's their... Uh... I'm going to detain you just for your safety and mine. You would uh, put your hands up or behind your back for me. Uh, you can put them behind your back. There you go. All right, now, uh, you got anything on you? Any, uh, any drugs or weapons or anything I might find on you? Got a shotgun. Shot, oh, shot shotgun on me. You got a shotgun on you. Is it loaded? Is it on you or is it in the car? Because I don't see how you could have a shotgun on you here. It, it's loaded. What is it? Is it in the trunk? It's in the trunk. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna search you here just to make sure you ain't got anything else on you. Now what the officer's doing is he's typing in chat or skybox. As you can see here, search his body. What did I find? And now the civilian will reply, like forward slash me, and then whatever he finds. And it can be whatever the civilian wants to be charged with or doesn't want to be charged with or how long the RP you know needs to be ran out. So I'll let that proceed here. I'll let you pick whatever you want to do. So just do like forward slash me, you know, wallet keys, whatever you want to do. Weed and keys. All right. Well, it looks like you got some, uh, a little baggie of weed here and I'm guessing your car keys here. Uh, Already got your license and registration, so uh, you said there's a shotgun in the trunk. Now, would you care if I searched your car too? Uh, you can go ahead and search it. So now, what will happen is the officer Rick will go into the vehicle. He'll get inside the vehicle, and he'll go to the vehicle menu and open all the all open all doors. And that'll open the hood, the trunk, and both doors, you know, whatever doors is on the vehicle. 
and then he'll type in chat search his car what did I find and then again is in the civilian hands to tell him what they will find so for instance he did admit he had a shot loaded shotgun in the trunk so he'll say oh got a loaded shotgun in the trunk you know weed inside the car you know whatever he wants to say within the skybox to let the officers know what he's going to find within the car so i'll let that proceed now all right go ahead all right if you would uh follow me back here to the back i'm gonna set you in the vehicle here so i can uh search yours if you look at the door you'll see the blue arrow which you get in the back seat i'm gonna shut this door and i'm gonna lock it for you so when and when in doing this uh, we always have to tell everybody there's the doors are locked because a lot of people will try to jump out of the vehicle and take off running. Um, it happens in every server, especially if we're just detaining them. We're not putting handcuffs on them and we're putting putting them in the back of a vehicle. Uh, if we don't say, "Hey, these doors are locked," they will jump out and take off running. If they find anything, you know, so Rick's going to go over and he's going to find a shotgun in the trunk. If he hadn't told him that there was a shotgun in the truck already and Rick hadn't locked the doors or handcuffed him, he would have just jumped out and took off running and we'd have had a chase on our hands. So I'll let this proceed. He's going to search the vehicle now. And while he's looking for the vehicle, open all doors uh, button. Uh, you'll find that in vehicle related options vehicle options vehicle doors and I'm not in the vehicle because I can't show you but it'll say you can open each individual door like hood trunk and all that and you have an option to open all doors and you can use that if you wanted to but that's how you get to that menu as if you were a cop doing the search and now what he'll do is he'll type in chat search his vehicle what did I find and all the civilian needs to do is watch for the skybox for that to pop up so he can tell him what he found. Alright, so now the officer has found weed and a shotgun which he admitted to earlier he'll come back and and decide if he needs to charge him or whatever the officer wants to do it's in the officers it's in the officer's hands so if he wants to charge him take him downtown he'll have to call a tow truck for the tow truck company to come get the car if you don't have a tow truck uh, company online or if you don't have a person playing as a tow truck driver uh, you'll just get in the car I'll show you. I'll go ahead and show you here. You'll just get in the car. Go to vehicle related options, vehicle options. Go all the way down to the bottom. And you'll hit delete vehicle. Um, if you're as nice as me, you'll ask them if they have this vehicle saved yet or not. And if they don't, they can get out, get in the vehicle, save the vehicle, and then you can delete it. It's considered towing in that sense. But I'll let this go ahead and proceed what the officer wants to do. All right, go ahead. All right, well, I did find that shotgun in the trunk. Uh, is that registered to you, or is that uh, is that even legal? It was pretty short. No, it's not legal. It's not legal. I, I appreciate you admitting that. But, uh, but uh, I also found a little more uh, paraphernalia in your car as well, which you will be charged for that, and I, I wish I could help you out for... Being as honest as you are with the illegal shotgun, I can't really do a whole lot on, so you're going to be charged with that as well. Uh, I'm going to take you down to the station to holding, and then uh, either me or one of the commanding officers will decide your sentencing on that. Alright, so now that we have arrived at the station, you go to the back of the station, and here, here is Polito Bay. At Sandy Shores, you can go in the front, or you can go in the back, as long as the station is open. Like, they have a script that opens the station. So what we'll do is we'll get out of the vehicle. You'll ask them to get out of the back of the vehicle. And if you have the script, um, 
you can do forward slash drag and it'll attach him to you and you can walk him into the jail cell and I'll let that proceed here. Alright, if you would, uh, step out vehicle here for me. Alright, I'm gonna escort you into our holding cell. Just follow me this way. you go here just keep facing this wall I'm gonna take these cuffs off of you too when I do I want you to put your hands in there and keep facing the wall for me all right this uh, cell door is now locked and you can uh, turn around and put your hands down All right. So now that we've got to this point where the guy is in the cell, you want to, you know, you want to. You know what? We forgot to read him his rights. <laughs> um, what you want to do is you want to give him his charges, and you want to ask him if he has a lawyer. Uh, some servers role play; they'll have a lawyer. They'll come in and talk to him, blah blah blah. If you want to do that, you ask him. If he does have a lawyer. He gets a phone call. You could take him, handcuff him, take him to the front office, dial the phone for him, let him talk to his lawyer. He'll call his friend, you know. The friend will play as a lawyer. He'll come in and then talk to the officer in charge of the arrest in the, in the interrogation room. They'll go over the charges, and they'll decide. Then you decide to where to, where to go from there. But if you're to this point and you don't have a lawyer to call, uh, you'll give them a sentence and send them to jail and if you have a jail script there's every server has a different jail script so I can't tell you which one uh, you necessarily have or will, how to use it but if you are a cop and you do have a jail script you'll just do the jail script and send them to jail it's pretty self-explanatory they'll end up at the prison close to Sandy and then uh, they can in, in our server they can teleport back to Polito after the sentence as a new person so that, you know, that RP is over with. They have went to prison, and now they're, they are starting a new life, in a sense, when they teleport back to Polito. So when they teleport back, you just, you know, go on, meet up with your hood rat friends, and then start a new RP.